Hey guys, so this video will most likely be when I get my wisdom tooth taken out because in this very moment, it hurts so much. It's already like out. It's not poking out, it's already like out. So hopefully y'all may see me loopy or just see my face more swelled up than it is now because it's, you can tell it's kind of swollen inside. But I'll keep y'all updated. That's probably a new video. Hopefully I'll remember to record or I just tell my mom to record me because content, right? The fact that I'm not doing this for content, I'm just doing this for like memories for myself because oh my god, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> but I'll see you guys soon, so bye! I'm contemplating on popping my pimples lately. Also, my wisdom tooth is out and it hurts like a I may be going to emergency care tomorrow because it actually hurts and it's actually out, out, not poking out, it's out, out. And um, so I may get it surgically removed or they're gonna pull it, but it's going this way instead of like down here. I may have an issue. <sighs> but I'm so much pain. Hey guys, so I know in the intro I said next Wednesday well not really whenever I can I'm gonna get my wisdom just taken out and I got it taken out today today is October 9th 2020 I did get my wisdom tooth taken out it wasn't bad I was awake for it because since my tooth was already out out they just pulled it out which doesn't have the roots so this is it right here that's my wisdom tooth way back here there are some downfalls that I have <sighs> I'm nervous but I'll keep you all updated each day by day so yes all right well I have what I'm supposed to do I already read it many times but um I already had it in for 30, 30 minutes I already took it out or repeat as necessary using firm so you pressure keep your head elevated so up never down so control the bleeding if bleeding continues after two hours place moist tea bag over the area which it wasn't surgically removed it was pulled and then contacted blah, blah, blah. um there is supposed to be a blood clot forms after the surgery protecting the extraction socket if the blood clot is lost dry socket which can be very painful so take care you know um i gotta keep fingers tongue away from the area and do not drink through a straw so do not spit do not smoke up to a week so luckily i don't do that already okay now this is for the next 24 hours keep your head elevated only eat slash drink food that is cold cool or room temperature cannot eat or drink anything hot at all for like a week, I think, or so. You may want to apply an ice pack outside of the face over the surgical area. You may alternate 20 minutes and on 20 minutes off to reduce swelling. So which I'm gonna do in a little bit is get that. So the beginning 24 hours after procedure. So the, for the next 24 hours, this is like today and tomorrow. And then the beginning of 24 hours is tomorrow so i'm gonna have to rinse with salt water after each and every meal for seven days brush teeth carefully avoiding chemical uh sur surgical area also i cannot use mouthwash because it's a commercial one i can't do it so they say you got bad breath for one to two weeks so there's this picture and the next picture but i took them for my family to show them what i looked like and this was before they took out my tooth. And this is when I started to feel a little bit tingly. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little explanation because you know, with some teeth you usually like, they're like, oh, ha ha, ha ha, like, you know, all acting funny. But like, I did feel tingly. I did like act a little different, but um, it wasn't like that. Cause all they did was just pull it out. They didn't do it surgically. So I got lucky on that one cause it was far enough out to where they could just pull it. 
They did give me a shot in numbing cream, and then they did put the oxygen thing, which I will put pictures on it. To me, it's a little embarrassing, but oh well. But that's what they did. They also had that little funny gas thing. I don't know what it was called. So, but I felt the tingling sensation. I was like, hey. They're asked if I was like, I was like, hey, I feel tingly. So they turned that down, cause yeah. But it, all I felt was discomfort when they pulled my twos. It didn't hurt. So I'm glad for that. But I heard the the third day is gonna be the most painful one of all. So wish me luck, please. Hey guys, this is nothing. Wanna say hello? <laughs> day two and um i'm feeling a little bit more than i did yesterday so the ice pack on just went to a funeral and now we're here to, as a celebration of life and i'm in a lot of pain well not in a lot of pain but i'm in pain so i got the ice pack and you just saw my dad that's my dad for like Okay, so, yeah. Self-conflicted punishment. I felt that. Food is out. Hi, mom. Are you talking to no one. No, this is like, um, I'm filming for a day by day of how my wisdom teeth. It's like a, a video, basically. Yeah. If there's jello and pudding, I most likely can, but n nothing else. Okay, what do you want to try to eat? There's crab salad, there's macaroni salad, it's soft. Potato salad. I can't really have anything crunchy. Okay, pasta salad. I may actually. I got cheese. Cheese, and meat. Oh my gosh, all this looks so good. Where's time to get a little tooth full? Huh? Noodles and stuff on there? Yeah. Please, and then some cheese. I know I can have. I don't know what kind of meat I can and cannot have. You can have meat as long as you chew on the one side. Okay. You want some cheese? Yeah. Please and it's thank soft you. Enough, yeah. So you break it, don't you? Know? Hopefully I can eat this and this. I know I can eat cheese, but. <clears throat> I'll do a little bit, little by little. But cheese, I know I can eat. So the cheese, I'm gonna eat. Mm -hmm. He knew what was going on. Check out the right. Not that I'm going to eat any of them, but I'm right. going to check out the Right. Did Kate, Yeah, she would post pictures. I was in the bathroom. I was trying to take pictures, and then someone came in. So I acted like I was using the restroom which, you know, I wasn't. So I grabbed toilet paper, put it in the toilet, then flushed, and then walked out because I was kind of embarrassed. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video, and that's only that. I flushed the toilet, and then I told you guys to be quiet, which doesn't make sense because you guys weren't there with me. <laughs> Since my wisdom tooth has been pulled, 
and um it's a little weird but in the next few clips i'm gonna show you what i do to keep it clean and what you kind of supposed to do either way if it was surgically removed or just pulled out also it, my phone is on a pumpkin isn't it cute i can't really talk that much because it feels weird i don't want to pull out the blood clot basic basically so but i'm gonna be drawing on this so if you guys want to stay tuned we're doing this <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back, like I said, so I had ice cream, and, okay, that's not gonna work, and I got me salt water. Salt water, you can't see because I already mixed it up and everything, so what you do, you do like a mouthful kind of, and slightly swish around, because it's supposed to help clean after you ate something, so. Uh, in this, I'm slightly swishing it around. I'm not doing it hard or anything, and there was something on my nose, so I decided to get that off. That's the only reason why. But I'm only swishing the salt water gently in my mouth, not hard, but not too, too gentle, but gentle. Now I'm gonna spit it out. And now it's time to brush my teeth. But the thing is, you do not put any toothpaste on it, put water on it, and gently brush your teeth. They recommend to not brush on the side you got your tooth out. You can do it a little bit, but not way in the back. So that's what I'm doing in this clip. And I'm just now being a little weird. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoy me brushing my teeth, basically. Hey guys, so you reached the end of the video, so thank you guys so much. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. And this is just experience that I had with my wisdom tooth being pulled out and just basically kind of following the rules or how my day went for the past three, three days. Of course, there will be more days, but, you know, I'm not going to put that in. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.